Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is, this is Ria, and I hope that everyone is staying indoors following the pandemic regime by the government because we have to do our part in order for this pandemic to end. So I do hope you guys are doing what you were instructed, stay inside. Um, if you're going outside, six meter um, social distancing and don't hang out with people at this time. Do it, at most do it like um, virtually, online, if you have to. I know it's annoying, I know it's frustrating, I get it, I understand everyone around the world is probably feeling the same thing. But in order for this pandemic to end, we need to do our part to help. So our part is to social distancing and staying at home. I know it's boring. I know it's not ideal for you, but if you want this to be over fast, do your part. So let's move on to the next part of the story. Um, first thing first, uh, it's related to the pandemic, of course. Um, I just want to address some things um i think in the, my last few videos i did talk reading regarding to the whole pandemic and majority i was on point in regards to that the chinese government has something to do with this and you see today everyone's against the chinese government of how they handled the situation because they handled it really poorly and majority of it is because apparently it was leaked from a the Wuhan lab, which not surprised because the government, Chinese government, is shitty. It's still really shady, and I would never trust them. Like I know I'm Chinese in ethnicity, but I'm born in Canada and I grew up um, watching and like looking at perspective in a different way and also my parents are not from mainland China uh, they're from Hong Kong note that Hong Kong they say people say they're part of China yes and no um, because Hong Kong used to be part of the British monarchy but now but the British gave it back to China but then finish they have this um, individual thing going on in Hong Kong which they're not under the Chinese China's go Chinese government dictatorship it's communist but I see it as a dictator because of how they are dealing with the whole uh, pandemic and silencing people from telling the truth which is ridiculous to me but yeah um overall i don't agree with many things that chinese people does in general not just the chinese government i don't agree to you know hunting and killing animals especially specific animals and eating them because yes it's a life cycle but the thing is it's just cruel and i don't really see the benefit of it and I am against the people who eat any sort of animals like cats, dogs, snakes, bats apparently Chinese people eat that and many other endangered species. I don't agree with them. I would rather go and eat chicken, beef, pork, eggs, just the you know, basic ones at most. But I'll try to limit as much as possible. I think is chicken never dies out because they kind of pretty much um, they breed really fast, so and not quite a lot. So probably that's why. So I'm not really. A, I'm trying my best to eat less meat and more focus on health wise at the moment, but. Other than that, I don't agree with the whole Chinese thing about these meat. So, 
just want to clear that up for you guys. I don't agree. I'm against eating endangered species, endangered animals, cats and dogs. I'm against all these. But yeah. Um, but at most, the, the whole pandemic, um, life is coming back to the planet. Yes, it's, it's a good news for the planet. It's not so good for us people, humans. But at least um, there's less pollution, less water pollution, uh, less air pollution. And anyway, it's good. I mean, we've been like wanting to save the planet and such and such. Uh, but now it's happening in a way we did not want it to expect. So I guess in a way we could take the, that as a positive sign. Um, but I most I do say it's not really ideal for us. Anyways, like I said, do your part um, to end this pandemic the best you could. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the tower reading. Um, I think I. I didn't really do the last tower reading in front of you guys, so I'm gonna do it this time. I have two of my tower reading uh, decks here. Um, my original one that I have always used with you guys. And my new one. Well, it's not really new. It's my first one, but I never got around to it. This is S. Uh, it's an animated version of tower decks, but it's still good. So I'm just going to do that. How would this turn out with the pandemic? By the way, Red Panda is in England at the moment, so which is why I don't see him often. Um, I can't do much about it. Um, maybe after this whole pandemic situation is over, you'll, you'll see more of him. I'm just not going to, to do the whole free power reading like I did last time. That, like I always do, like it, it takes a long time. This one's simple and so. Okay, um, let me shuffle this one. Uh, this would be my first time using this. In a long time. It's kind of hard to shuffle this one, but I'm do my best. Okay, let's start with the bottom of the deck we have the tower card for the original deck and the middle of the deck we have the star. We wish for something to happen 
Um, but the tower something is coming down to an end. It's coming to an end in not a good way. But there'll be a new beginning, of course. Like all tower card, it's not really good card. But I see as a I try to see the positive side of things. So um, with the other deck, I have the two of pentacles in the middle of the deck. King of Swords in reverse. Okay, so the middle of the deck uh, for the other card, first one is the Page of Wands in reverse. What's crossing it with the my new deck is Seven of Pentacles. Next card. Five of Swords, Two of Cups, Judgment, Knight of Swords in Reverse, okay, so, so far I only flipped one of my um, new ones. So I'm just going to explain to you what's going on because there's a lot to say here. At the moment, people are wishing for this to end, to come to an end, this pandemic, which is not surprising. <laughs> uh, we have the Two of Swords and the King of... King of Pentacles. Kind of so in reverse. So, so kind of so in reverse. I mean, represent quiet power. Um. So. It also represents lack of structure, routine, self-discipline, power, authority. So in a way, it makes sense because we kind of end up in this situation. We end up in becoming a routine and lack of structure. So not surprised that things are going this way. Uh, we also have two of pentacles, um, which simplifies that... Um, it's a card about balance, so you're trying to keep things balanced in terms of everything despite the situation, which is really hard, like in terms of money, health, love, work, whatever it is. In this situation, is uh, trying to balance everything, so makes sense. So we have the Page of Swords, in, Page of Wands in reverse. So Page of Wands in reverse, um... It means um, that you have to be patient at most. That is what you need to be doing. Just try to be patient. Uh, I know it's hard, uh, but do what you can to stay patient despite the situation. Like I said before, um, try to do your part in helping end in this pandemic, which is being patient, staying indoors. At most, it's also me re redirecting energy, self-limiting beliefs, a spiritual path, or newly formed ideas. I mean, this is a good time for some people who are, uh, they could try to find inspiration or have some, if they have like some kind of writer blog, artist blog, whatever it is, I think it's a good time for everyone to, you know, Maybe find some new ideas. Um, so yeah, you also have the seven of pentacles blocking you. So, um, what it means is you also have the two of cups here. So. I think there's some bonds going on, some bonds, some uh, 
in terms of everything because in this situation a lot of people would be uh, fighting against me but there's some conflict at most because we're all frustrated we're all stressed but yeah um so the seven of pentacles uh it can that's blocking you or or it can influence you it means can kind of represent manifestation of ideas ambitions or goal yeah so that's why me said before um take this time to manifest ideas ambitions or goals like what you want to do after this pandemic ends you never know when it's going to end but at least you have if you try to manifest some ideas or prepare it maybe you could have some good outcome um so there's that uh you also have the judgment i'm mostly being judged at the moment um probably not surprised because we have been like thrown a lot of things into our path and we're being it's like an obstacle being tested so not surprised i want two cops saying that you should be more in sync um come together as one and you also have five of swords and the knight of swords in reverse so five of swords um last i remember it says that comes with a warning also signify hostility aggression intimidation and violence so it can represent a situation we would hope to never encounter in our life so that means theft bullying crime abuse uh i think the most in this case is the whole aggression and hostility um that's happening across the world because of the whole stressful situation pandemic and people not finding jobs and everything um no jobs as well so there is that but i think we've been we've been tested and told us to be patient um try not to let it get to you i know it's really difficult but try your best um you also have your knight of swords in reverse so it means uh telling you to slow down replenish yourself stress is a fact of life and also represent obsessive thinking try to avoid that um slow down be patient at the most do some soul searching i this is what I'm getting. Like, do some soul searching. Things to go right. Um. So the next last four cards are uh, from my new deck. Uh, let's look. Queen of Swords in reverse. Ace of Wands. The Fool. And. Queen of Cups. So there'll be some emotion going on. Um, when the food comes out, it usually is a good sign. Um, but we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So let's look at that one because uh, I don't know if you guys remember about last time. Um, so Queen of Swords, it like I said, um, needs to be careful about not becoming too isolated, like like too much from others, like. Yes, you'd be supposed to be self isolate but that don't be doing too much but yet uh don't be selfish as well. Like it's it also reminds us to that we need other people. So remember to collaborate in a way like help one another for this to be successful. So in this case, um like I said before, do your part to help end this pandemic uh be careful as well and also help one another to help end this pandemic um so you also have ace of swords um ace of actually ace of wands sorry ace of wands usually means some kind of victory but um in this situation it means good news new beginnings um signifies taking action new initiative finding new passion enthusiasm or spark like i said take this time to gather your thoughts soul search and if you have some new ideas if you have new ideas go for it 
uh, take the initiative while this the pandemic is happening, while you're doing your part to help end this pandemic. So the Fool and the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is an emotion card, so which is usually a good thing in a way. Um, so is it Queen of Cups is usually in so that size is Gemini or Cancer, but this is not the situation. This is more emotion card. Um, it me it's a pretty much represent a mature female or feminine person who is kind, caring, supportive, or a, it's a se sentimental, sensitive soul, and a good listener. Uh, so there's that. Um, but what does it mean for, for us? Um, it means have some compassion, caring, try to be emotionally stable, intuitive, in flow. So go with the flow of things, be compassionate, caring for others. I know it's hard with the whole situation and with how things are going, people are kind of becoming more selfish. Like for example, stockpiling stuff, which leave people not able to do anything. Or some elderly people who are not able to go to the supermarket because they're the, at that age, they're not able to go out, they couldn't go far. And it takes them a long time to go to a supermarket because of their age. And people just stop piling and forgot to leave some for others. At most, I think this is what it means. Like, don't be like that kind of person. Comp have some compassion. Help one another. This is a time where we are supposed to help one another. And we are being judged and tested here. So last um, card would be the fool. So what does the fool mean? Um, fool is the... Usually a good card to be fair. Like to me, I find it's a good card. So um it's a really powerful major card card. Um the representing new beginnings, consequently an end to something in your old life. So it makes sense. Uh, we have the tower in the my usual deck. So something is coming down is ending even though it's not a good thing. With the how things are going, not surprised, but new something new is coming, something a new beginning is coming. So, at the moment, please have some patience with what is going on. Do your best in your part to help this pandemic to end, and yeah, and sooner or later your wish will come true. Um, so that's all for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, smash that bell button for more notification and subscribe to my channel I hope you guys are all doing well do your part in staying safe staying healthy and keep up your immune system as well and helping one another so I'll see you guys next time and take care guys bye